Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Phil and I'm a senior lecturer in astrophysics at the University of Lincoln and I want to use this video to basically explain what the zenith and the nadir is in astronomy essentially and they're quite straightforward to understand really so it's only going to be a very short video. So basically with astronomical coordinate systems these basically specify astronomical object positions relative to physical reference points available to the observer and in this case here we're going to be on kind of the surface of the earth and we're going to use kind of the zenith and the nadir as reference points really for looking in the actual night sky. So they're very important because earth is moving so Earth is obviously orbiting the Sun, it's also spinning, so our night sky is constantly changing. It changes as the Earth rotates, all those stars will move around, but also throughout the year as well, the stars constellations will change as well as from night to night. So it's very important to have some kind of reference point to then try and used to find objects in the night sky. And there's various different coordinate systems which I've done other videos on as well, but this one's just going to concern the zenith and the nadir. So, if we're standing on the surface of the Earth, and to be honest, I've put the Earth here, but no one's really going to be standing where that person's standing. But if you're standing on the Earth like that, if you look directly above you, so essentially at an altitude of 90 degrees, that's the zenith. So directly above you is going to be the zenith and at 90 degrees to that, to the zenith, that's our astronomical horizon. But then also we have our true horizon where we're actually looking. But the astronomical horizon is always going to be 90 degrees or a right angle to directly above you, essentially. Now, as the Earth moves and rotates, moves through space, that zenith is always going to remain relative to us. It remains the same. So if we rotate the Earth around, we're still looking directly above us when we're on the surface of the Earth. So the zenith will still be directly above us. It's relative to us, essentially. Now, the nadir is essentially the opposite of the zenith. It's directly below us. So I suppose it's like 180 degrees further around than the zenith. So it's directly below us underneath. And you've still got the astronomical horizon. And again, as the Earth moves, they all basically stay relative to us, essentially. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy and find these particularly helpful, then do consider becoming a member. It helps support the channel, but also we have extra videos in the member section as well.